So this is part two of a two-part series on creating buildings using Jossum for OpenStreetMap. In my first video, I showed some a brief example of how to uh, start up Jossum and um, pick the, the necessary plugins to enable you to easily make buildings. Uh, for the second part, I'm going to show you a couple advanced steps, how to put courtyards into buildings, um, how to change some of the, the settings as well. So. For this example, I'm going to go to Alcobendas in Spain, and we will download all this data right here. Uh, we have the uh, Slippy Map turned on with um, with Bing Maps, so I can zoom in, and we have some buildings here that have a uh, well, kind of a courtyard, it's more a place, I guess, where they hang hang their clothes. So we'll, we'll start uh, the building mode, change to the building cursor, or we can do the letter W, and go like that. Let go of the mouse, and then drag the rectangle. So that will um, create the building outline. And now I can do the same thing again for these gaps. Draw the building outline. Um, do it two more times. Draw the building outline. And finally, draw the building outline. Uh, sorry, not the building, the gap. So now we select these things. So I've switched to the selection mode. Select these three items. And once I have them selected, I can go to Tools and say uh, Create Multi-Polygon. So there you can see, I now have a polygon. It's a, it's a building. Uh, tag Building and Source is Bing. So that was pretty easy. Um, so let's do a building where we have some, uh, some crazy corners. So we'll go to Building Mode again. Uh, go like like that. Drag it. We can uh, go like this and drag it. And what you're going to see uh, that even if we're using this, there's still going to be a few uh, inconsistencies, and we can clean those up uh, later. So now I'm in selection mode. Select all the, the areas, and then I can say join. Uh, not join. Join overlapping areas. You can see some of these here didn't line up very nicely, so I can go like that, select them, and delete them. Uh, maybe get rid of some of those intermediate points. Delete those. Now I have a fairly decent building and I can save that and upload it. Again, in some of these older cities, um, it will require more work. Uh, one place that this building tool is really helpful in is when there's um, symmetrical shapes or repeatable shapes. So here's an example. So we'll go like that. We'll draw that rectangle, and then I can select this one and uh, do uh, Control D. Control D does a duplicate, so we have that. And now we can uh, do another building right there, building shape like that. Make sure I have it selected. Control D, like that. Control D again, like that. Now that I have these shapes. Uh, I do that, and then I can say uh, Shift-J, and uh, there we have it, even complete with courtyards. Um, that saved me a lot of steps, um, a lot of mouse clicks, and it made a nice um, orthogonally shaped uh, building.